Hello. Okay, the first piece of writing we're going to be looking at is an essay. Okay, so let's have a look at this. This is what you're expected to do, the objective. You have an issue, uh, a, an important point. You're supposed to uh, underline the most relevant salient issue. So you're supposed to make it very clear that you understand this is the point of the essay. And you're supposed to give an argument and support the argument with subsidiary points using examples, using um, reasons, using whatever you can find to back up your arguments. Okay, it's what I mentioned in the general piece of advice. You must give a point of view and back it up with reasons. Your structure, again, it's a classic structure, an introduction where you present the topic. And then depending on the question, idea one, idea two, with the arguments to support your idea, and then the conclusion. In the conclusion, you sum up the main ideas, again, using different words, of course, paraphrase, paraphrase, and give your opinion. All right, give your opinion. The style, it says, is formal, semi-formal. An essay is like if, you, if you're doing an academic piece of writing, for example, this is the same style. Okay, so we don't want any colloquialisms. We don't want anything very informal. Okay, it's a formal or semi-formal style. Here we have an example. You can see there's quite a bit of reading to do. It's very typical to have, for example, a graph, as you have here. This is to do with the installation of solar panels and why homeowners in the USA decided to do it. There are three reasons. Okay, so what you have to do is look, let's look for the key points. Okay, so it's, it says now your English teacher underneath the graph, it says your English teacher has asked you to write an essay. So here we have the context. You're writing, who you're writing to? Your English teacher. Okay, so if it's not the most formal piece of writing in the world, but it's got to be formal to semi-formal. Um, what do we have to do? We have to look at the three bullet points. It says you should, and we have three. Here are the key words, the key words, which I'll mention again. Discuss, analyze, and suggest. You have to do all three things. So you have to discuss the three reasons. Discuss, okay, why it would be good to install solar panels, for example, to save money on utility bills. Why many people do it to help the environment. Analyze how important each one, it says each one. So you have to analyze each one of the three and say how important each one is. And then suggest which reason is the most important. So you have to give your opinion, this is where your opinion comes in, which for you is the most important reason of the three. So I repeat, you have to look for those key points, the key words, discuss, analyze, and suggest. And then bear in mind your writing for your English teacher. So you have to change the register of style to suit your English teacher. At the bottom it says an appropriate style. Okay. A few hints. Use your own words. As I said, um, do not repeat in block words or, or chunks of words from the question. That's not good. You will get marks knocked off. So use your own words. The introductory paragraph should be effective. Okay. Uh, an essay you should try to make, you should try to, as with other bits of writing, but an essay should always try to make the reader want to continue reading. Okay, so an introductory paragraph, you could begin, you could begin with, with some interesting opinion. You could begin with a rhetorical question. Okay, that, that's a good way of getting readers' attention. It's also a good way of linking paragraphs, maybe from the introduction to paragraph one, a rhetorical question, and the per and then you answer the question in the next paragraph. So the introductory paragraph has to be effective and has to make the reader want to continue reading. And as I said before, the key words in the question, make sure to cover all points. As I said before, don't cover two of the three. You have to cover all three and you have to analyze and discuss and suggest. You have to do all of those. All right. um, a few more hints for the body. It's a good idea to give each new paragraph a topic sentence. A topic sentence is the opening sentence of the paragraph. And in the rest of the paragraph, you are, it, it shows you what the rest of the paragraph is going to cover. So it's like an introductory sentence to the paragraph. And the rest of the paragraph talks about this line of reasoning. Relevant details, I've said before, to support the main idea. As we said, an essay should, tr should try to make the reader want to continue reading. So you could use examples. Okay, rhetorical questions, surprising statements. These statements don't necessarily have to be true. You know, you can invent things. Um, well, again, you're being tested on the level of your English, not on, not on your opinions or anything which may not be factually true, but you're not going to be, you're not gonna be uh, you know, penalized for that. 
And the third point, if you include a drawback, you may include a drawback. It may not all be positive, you may be positive and negative. But if you include a drawback, then it's a good idea to give a possible solution to that drawback. It's a nice piece of advice, okay? So if you include something negative, what, what possible solution could it have? And the last one, I mention them all the time, linkers. Okay, you have to use them within and between paragraphs. So not only to link paragraph to paragraph, but also within a paragraph. It makes everything coherent and much easier to read. Okay. Thank you very much.